Hey y'all, this is Alex and Ray in Japan, and what is the channel name? <laughs> Alex and Ray in Japan. That's our channel name. You didn't know that? I know it now. Okay, well he knows it now. So, you voted on our poll, and what most of you voted for was uh, to find out about the process about how you can get tested for STDs and HIV, things like that, in Japan as a native English speaker. And the first step is that we went to is we went online and we just did a really quick search for uh, free testing in Nagoya, which brought up uh, the link to a web page from the International Center, and I'll post that below in the, in the uh, description. And um, it gave a bunch of information about, you know, some words that would be common that you need to know in Japanese, and uh, it's very nice. It also had a nice link to different hospitals that you could search for by ward, which was very helpful, and it gave their different foreign language proficiencies. So English is the major language they had. And they had it rated on three, two, and one. English for the one that we went to was rated as uh, no problem. You know, you could go there and they should be able to converse with you in a level that uh, does not affect your comprehension testing and whatnot. So we picked a clinic that was nearby us and decided to go there. So most of these places they'll want you to call ahead and make a reservation. If you can't speak Japanese, try to get a friend that can do it. Um, we decided to just go ahead and make the appointment in person. We went down to the clinic and the first interesting thing we were told was, oh, we don't take reservations. It's a first come first serve basis. Okay, so we'll come back on the day that we want to actually get this test done. So we came back on Wednesday of that week and got the test done, which involved a certain amount of paperwork. You know, it was our first time at the clinic. Um, that part wasn't too bad. Was a little surprised uh, because they knew that we wanted to get tested for STDs. They decided to tell us, oh, we want you to pee into a cup. It not was, just any cup. No, not just any cup. A Dixie cup. Yes, it was a special Dixie cup that had lines printed on it. And I have to say in full disclosure that the woman that was showing us these cups ended up dropping at least one of them while she was trying to show it to us on the floor. I'm pretty sure she threw it out afterwards. <laughs> but um, anyway, so... I ended up doing that and submitting my urine sample to these people, and they ended up just basically looking at it and saying that your quality is nice, it doesn't look like you have any cloudiness or any problems. So I was kind of like, why did you have me do this? Yes, I'm going for an STD test, but you can test this by blood. So when I finally got into the doctor, uh, we went separately into the doctor, and he decided to tell me that, you know, my urine looked clear, and wanted to know what I wanted tested. And I just kind of told him, uh, in Japanese, He first thing he asked me was, do you speak Japanese? And I said, yes, I do. Um, so then I saw kind of immediately, he kind of went, oh, I don't have to try to speak English to this person, so... A little red flag went up that yes this place was supposed to speak English but up until this point none of the people spoke any English to us really at all it was no problem and I ended up telling the guy look I want to get an STD test just doing this you know as a precautionary measure because it's a healthy thing to do what how many STDs are there a lot. <laughs> because he asked you. He asked me. He said, now which one do you want to test for? And he proceeded to list a few of them. And there were some that I recognized, some that I didn't. Uh, prominent ones were chlamydia and gonorrhea. And 
I just said, well, you know, I don't really know. I'm just sort of getting tested. And he goes, okay, um, well, when was the last time you were sexually active with a woman? Never. And I stopped him there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I stopped him there and I said, I'm not with a woman. I'm with a man. And he goes, oh. And I see him kind of pause for a second. And to his credit, he just sort of plowed right on. He said, well, if you're with a man, the biggest problem is probably going to be uh, HIV and AIDS. And I said, yes, can we test for that? And I, I don't know. I, I feel like I kind of would have liked to have been able to run a test that tested for more than one thing, but I know that they would have had to take more blood. And that also costs more money. Um, the doctor was nice enough to explain to me that there was a clinic I could go to because we are on national health insurance that if we go online and figure out the days, I post the link to the website for this below in the description. If you go there, it's free. I, I said, well, thank you very much for explaining this. We really want to get this done by you. That's why we came here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get it tested. By the way, I brought my partner with me. Uh, he speaks no Japanese. I saw him kind of tense up a little bit. I said, but I can translate for him what you just said to me. He goes, okay. So then Ray walks in the room. And what was your impression of the doctor? I thought the doctor was nice, older guy. Mm -hmm. That uh, drew our blood was, at least with me, uh, sort of nice, sort of chatty, but not overly so. You know, I thought that she was good in a clinical way. Um, she had a lot of trouble finding my veins because apparently I have thin skin, and I know you can't see that at all here, but uh, I have very thin skin apparently. She tested both my arms and had to sort of not stick me multiple times, but sort of had to move the needle around quite a bit. Thankfully, Ray, uh, she was able to get him on the first jab, and I was kind of not in the room, but I was in the hallway sort of looking, and I was leaning, kind of ready to translate if she needed any help. Um, but he was a channel going through it, getting his blood drawn. We you can talk about the nurse not wearing gloves and handling HIV blood. The nurse that was drawing our blood didn't wear any gloves of any sort, which, I mean, in the United States, apparently it's not a law exactly, but Every single time I've ever gotten blood drawn, they have always worn gloves. And every health class I've ever been in was like, if you have to deal with blood, wear gloves. gloves. Um, she didn't have any slip-ups. Like, you know, she didn't get any noticeable blood spurting anywhere. She um, may have cracked herself with the needle. But given the fact that she was testing for HIV... And she was aware of this fact. You'd think that she would have been a little bit more cautious with this. And, um, oh, what was the other thing? Oh, also, when she was trying to stick me with it, she kind of was pulling on the plunger, and then she couldn't get it to go, so she put it back down. I kind of freaked a little bit <laughs> in my head because I was thinking, oh, my gosh, she's going to be putting air into my system. And I know that that's supposedly not good for you, although she wasn't in a vein, so maybe that had nothing to do with that. So we were prepared. Uh, we brought some, um, it's called Calorie Mate. It's a nutritional, like a nutritional bar with us because we knew that we were getting blood drawn and we didn't know exactly how we'd react to it. Um, so we were prepared and brought that with us. <laughs> they did not provide any form of water uh, after this, for the urine test, I did ask them if they could give me some water, and they gave me a little tiny teacup full of water, and they gave one. They didn't provide anything in the way of, here, you just have blood drawn, let me give you this cookie, or let me give you this juice, which I know they do at least when you're getting, uh, when you're donating blood in the States. I don't remember if a lot of us does that. It's been many years. Uh, so if you know, please comment about your experience getting blood drawn. Um, I'd say that Overall, the process wasn't too painful. Uh, it wasn't quite as good with the English side. Of um, as far as the clinic, it was very 
late 1980s, early 1990s, everything was like old stacks of paperwork everywhere. It was creepy, y'all. Like, it, it there was, was like plaster and paint coming off the walls, and it wasn't up kept very well. No. In fairness, this was a clinic that we went to and not an actual hospital hospital. Uh, that being said, this clinic included uh, ophthalmology, um, pediatrics, uh, urology, and they had a, a room for operations and x-rays. So it handled quite a bit, but it wasn't a full-blown hospital. So i just like to say that before all of you start going, oh my gosh, Japanese hospitals are so horrible. Um, well, this was a clinic, so I can't speak to how hospitals here. I've never been to a hospital here. Um, but uh, I w it wasn't quite as good with the English side of things uh, as I hoped they would have been, which may have been my mistake telling them that I can speak Japanese, because this was also sort of a test. How well do they help things in English along? Um, the doctor did say the word Saturday in English. He had good pronunciation, but our results are coming up and we will keep you posted. So yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, um, because we are on the National Health Insurance, it cost us about 2,900 yen to get our blood drawn and tested for HIV. Um, I had an additional fee of about 1,110 yen, uh, because presum you presumably for the urine test. You peed in a cup, that's why. Yes. So it's not overly expensive. I think for the two of us, it ended up being about 50 something yen, or not 50 something yen, 50 something dollars. Uh, and honestly, th there are probably places we could have gone that were cheaper. There was the one place that they said uh, that we could go for free, but we didn't want to take the chance that we couldn't get in on a specific day. And it, uh, so yeah, we will keep you posted on the results. That'll be our next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, like this video. Until next time, bye-bye.